Hello there. One thing, this is a complex issue that has just arisen. The problem is that the outdoor motor is on and the compressor is connected. The compressor doesn't activate for a while after the motor is on and there are no errors. The motor keeps cycling off and on without errors. It's on. Look into what the problem is. The main issue is that it doesn't give a board error and there are no errors on the board. No errors appear on the board, lights or display. There are no ongoing errors. I haven't said this before but look at your channel for videos. You'll find useful information in any video. You'll learn a lot. Watch those videos. You'll discover a lot if you like this work. Then there's no point in seeing the benefit if you want to learn this work. You can watch my videos on the entire channel. The motor has stopped working but it will turn on again after some time. That's how it usually goes but the compressor... It won't come on. Now we will turn it off. Look, I have turned it off. After turning it off, see how it fully charges. The compressor discharges, the board charges, voltage comes in. Done now. Discharge. Now I will, to show you how it works, look at everything. I'm working on this. Motor jack sensor and fuse are here. And here are the main wires. This is for the board's indoor connection. I will divide it. This is okay as per the request. Look, I will make it distinct. Now we will check all the other things. First, I forgot to tell you about this. If I have to reconnect, I will need to check its communication. The communication is happening in this condition. It is not off. Communication is fine. I will have you verify again so you don't believe there is a communication issue which is why this isn't happening. I say this for you, make sure to turn up the volume on the video so that everything is clear. If someone informs you, do tell me that this person reveals all these details. So I'm saying, get to work. No one else will tell you this. If I check the communication, see that it's fine, but the compressor isn't starting. And here. Here, side. This way. See, I've set it up like this. I've turned it on. Now I'll show you the communication. Sorry, it will be here. Yes, Today, this, this way. Is the way. Look, communication is occurring. It's happening with this. Watch. I got rid of Sarah. I set up the induction for this on my side because I need to work with it. We have looked at this compressor now. This compressor has been checked for its fuel. Now we will disconnect everything and then it will be charged again. Obviously if it's connected we will discharge it the same way. Make sure to watch the entire video and the benefit for you is this. You can do this if you watch the entire video. Then it can work perfectly. Now let's first go to this. First we will test the IPM. Look, the high video is my created ferry. You can see the video on this. First I will test the high side. Look here. 
It's fine, but I won't use dive mode for this. Check this in dive mode. Keep it this way when I check. There's a video on my channel. All videos are done. Hopefully it will work. See, there's no short. This is the capacitor charging, and it will take some time. It's okay here. I'll switch to beep mode because it didn't indicate this way. Look, this is just for capacitor testing. It's fine. It's okay. After this, I will check this item. All. First, I will check the low side. My movie is on this on my channel. You can watch it to see my checking method. I've explained three or four methods to check. You can check it properly. You can see if it's right or wrong. Look at its reading. There's a delay here as well. And after this, on this. And after this, on this, this is our IPM. Okay, two side, high side. All right, now moving on to the IGBT. Check the IGBT. It shows one by one. See if it's correct. I do a quick change of this switch. This one here, where, yes, this is diode mode. Look at this. Now I will check this. It shouldn't be a short. This is good and this is fine. Diverge is fine too. Next I will check the short key diverge. These are fine too. These are also okay. Everything is fine. The issue is that the compressor isn't working. The IGBT is fine and there's no fault in the back end processor. No fault, it works and its IPM is fine. The issue is that there is no error and the compressor isn't on. We will check this. First, we will check these components. Focusing on the feedback capacitor and the shunt. The shunt is all right. Now we check the feedback capacitors that are connected. These are connected and we will check if they are functioning properly. This is okay because of its weight. This could also cause a fault. This capacitor is defective. Check this now. This is ours. This capacitor is bad. This causes all the issues. There's a problem. Check this capacity change. Let's test these capacitors to see if they are fine. It's fine. Let's check later. What's next? Here's what I found. Now checking capacity. The camera will mark the asteroids. We will check now. Validate. Let's see what this does. All is connected. Now we will check the voltage. Now let's power it on. Let's see if the compressor is on or not. The compressor is not running much because we haven't applied heat. We will do the compressor after we do the rest. Cycle through the HESS engineering work just to see if the compressor is turned on or not. This motor is switched on and two motors are switched on. See if the compressor switches on or not. Yes, we have changed the feedback on the capacitor. We can see whether it turns on or not. Check that our compressor is also on. It doesn't have to run much longer because the IPM belongs to it. Our compressor is also turned on and everything is complete now. We turn it off. Now this is our cat which is okay. Our compressor is on. Yes, the compressor you took more and turned it off from here so I don't run it for long because the IPM is left open here. The problem he had now was that there was no error and the compressor wouldn't turn on either. Thank you for watching the video.